is right. Again, G needs just 48 yards to pass Walter Abercrombie for the all-time leading rusher in Baylor history. With that one for the short pass to try to help him get his confidence. Little read and a rifle shot for Blake Lynch over the middle. He lost the football, but it will be ruled incomplete. So third down and 10, and Russell will run it. And how about Rice with a three and out? And on a night where Blaine... But Lyons is one of the better linebackers around. He'll be a pro player. A fake to Terrence Williams for Seth Russell, and he's got a completion out to the 20-yard line for Chris Platt. It's the dive. He reads it and comes outside with a pass. It's Williams on the dive with the first down. Takes a pop across the... South guy, he's a slasher at 220 pounds. And he'll stretch to the edge here with good seal blocking. Turns the corner looking for an alley. And McGaskey is there. A couple of good stops early from Rice. And a good penetration play by Grayson Chance. The redshirt junior missed. Shock Linwood is in the game. And it's a give to Shock Linwood. And Linwood close to the first down marker. He needed the 37. Looks like 30 pounds and he can run. They said he might not know where to go, but he's going to get there fast. <laughs> Here is Shock Linwood powering his way into Rice territory. A strong run by Shock. Red. They're in four down territory here. And Linwood trying to lunge forward is short here. Five times a week ago, and they'll go for it here. And this time Russell keeping, spinning, and he's got the first down, twirling inside the 40 yard line. Baylor still feels like it has a shot with a good schedule in Big 12 play, which starts next week. And here is Shock Linwood with a big run. And he gets chopped down. He's 20 yards away as Shock Linwood from the all time Baylor record. And he's got a lead blocker in front of him, but nothing doing. J.P. Thompson, a backup defensive back at McLean Stadium against SMU. Rifles a pass. Russell for his third completion. That one to, to get him started. Straight up the gut. We'll go with to Michael Hasty. And he runs into one. From, six right yeah, from, from Longview when he was a young player. Very fast. You see that shiftiness of Jamichael Hasty, but he gets hit hard by Emmanuel Ellerby. For the big play. Junior out of Mount Pleasant, Texas. Stretching it with Hasty. What a hit in the backfield. He is one of those guys who can play multiple positions. Straight up the middle. Here's the speed of Jamichael Hasty. He's been really taking the field in about 10 months. On the give to Terrence Williams. And Williams to the 11 yard line. Lions. That's one thing Art and his staff did a good job of evaluating players. Here is Williams, and he powers for the first down. It'll be first and goal for Baylor. Williams, the big 220 pound, pound back. Russell, draw. He can still hurl it, but good job by the back end of Rice. Covet Platty, outstanding sports information director. He had a lot of fun with it this week. Russell, smart play to. Keep the football, and he'll pick up solid six yards right there to the 41-yard line. Was I just don't believe I'd be making Michigan mad <laughs> the week of the game. Here is Shock Linwood again, closing in on the all-time Baylor rush. Russell keeps. Russell first down. Russell into Rice territory. Russell picks up the first. Offensive play callers in the country. Learn from his dad. Here is Shock Linwood. Not much there as Alex Lyons shut down, shuts down the field. Here is Shock Linwood again. And he gets shut down by Ellerby. Trying to longest of his career. So Russell swings it out to the sideline. And James rather make that Blake Lynch. Ended up fumbling the football with a one way or the other. Man, this was very tight right near the sidelines. The clock is continuing to move, so it looks like it will stay with Baylor. Five wide receivers on the field. It was a quick screen trying to get 10, 15 yards. Ball just gets knocked out. Timeout. Really by the blocker as he's going Baylor. forward. It is their first. Rice has got it. And again, still two timeouts left for Baylor. And swing it out wide once again. And Lynch. Might have had his knee time. They want to see how Rice is going to line up, but they changed their play. Ends up being a run play for Hasty, who's got a touchdown in this game. And he takes it to the 43. Strong eight-yard. Come out with a statement with a power run. 
right back to Hasty. And Hasty with a good cut, a sidestep in the first down, close to midfield. He can run. Yep. NCAA championships. Riding that read and giving it to Hasty, who gets to the edge and gets close to the first position. Keeping it on the ground. And this guy is so trying to wear him down. Williams muscling his way to the 21 yard line. North and south, he's the slasher. Here he is again, riding that block from Ishmael Wilson and trying to get further past the 20. The unbeaten. Quick toss, it is caught by Blake Lynch. And he's got the first down inside the 40 yard line to the 35. It's Baylor's offense, that's just what they do. And look how wide they're spread. It is Williams powering up the middle and still pushing the pile. Which to the 31 yard line. The wide receiver becomes a five yard gain in the second in the second half. Quick strike to Lynch and he gets wrapped up quickly by eBay and pushed back behind the third. Nothing to do with the play. Play's over. Leave it alone. So now it's third down and 17 and they keep it short with Hasty who's trying to pick up all that yardage and does. He's got the first down. Hasty. Uh, move on. Hasty again. This guy runs a 4-5. He's 5-9, but he's 200. Really quick. They're sticking with him. Nothing in the middle, so he stretches to the outside. Has enough for the first down at the 10, but got popped. Terrence Williams is in the game. He gets the fake. Quick strike over the middle for Lynch, and he could not. They got the big guys in there. Here is Williams. Takes a good hit at the six yard line from Bertrand. Williams still in the game. Russell over the middle and incomplete. Terrence Williams and throw it deep. One on one for the completion. Going quick. Here is Williams. And he spun down inside the 15 after a first down. Understand why? Because yeah, you need course, to stop. It's tough when you're right in the middle of the play. It's a dead ball penalty. So that's why it's still first down and 10, but you move back 15 to the 29 yard line. One yard shy of Walter Abercrombie's mark. Russell, the fake. Russell, the toss. Furbacher into the end zone. Touchdown, Baylor. For Oklahoma State next week. He started this game two for seven, throwing the football. He's gone 50 to 24 since. And out to the sideline for Denzel. Record. Will they give it to him here? They will. And there goes Shock Linwood. View with Art Bryles, and there was decline whether it was from Bryles or the people around him, unsure of that. But he declined to be interviewed on this. Bryles, and after a couple of slow drives, this Baylor offense has gotten going. Shock Linwood has become the all time leading rusher. Art Bryles did leave at half. Well, third down, quick strike to Chris Platt, and he was past the sticks. First down inside the 30. You like the game plan, going short early and then getting him comfortable enough, taking a couple of shots eventually? I really do. Well, this guy's, been, slow. this guy's been an outlet for him. Katie Cannon leaping towards the goal. Both of those marks in the great football state of Texas are top ten in Texas high school history. And there goes Jermichael Hasty. Excellent run inside the Rice 40-yard line. Finally, Chris Johnson, who was almost more like a Wildcat type of quarterback, although he could pass it. Started the final three games, including the bowl game. But Stidham seeing the uh, playing tight end now for the Houston Cougars as a grad student. Chris Johnson's an impressive young man. I like the fact they're running the ball, but they need Zach Smith, Smith to throw the ball and get some experience. He's one play away from playing. And Baylor, I think, knows that better than anybody in terms of Christian Hackenberg, now the number four quarterback, by the way, for the Jets. Well, the college fans will remember his days at Penn State. Stillwater this week with James Conner and the Pitt Panthers. Wyatt Schrepfer, junior out of Trinidad, Colorado, is in the game. Get this thing over with and go home. Here is Schrepfer, and he gets hit shy of the line to game for him. I want to kick a field goal here. You, you, it's better to run the ball. Yep. They're just going right to run back, it up yep. the middle. Right back to Schrepfer. Love the story on this kid. It's a joy in his life. Right back to him. His official Baylor photo on their website. Coaches board together 
They have outstanding respect for each other. Shuffle wrapped up by Ellerby. And Rice has played. I mean, Graham took him there. And Bailiff has had one of the more successful stretches in Rice history. Had a bunch of bowls in a row. People don't know. He actually uh, hired Tom Herman. Goal. Milking as much of the clock as possible. And Shrepler gets stopped. 